Okay, I've got my phone like <laughs> balanced up on some Clorox wipes, so we're ready to go. Um, first thing, when you are naming coordinates, okay, you have to remember that it's always X and then Y. This is your X axis, it's even labeled for you, and this one is Y. Okay, so just like Battleship, when it's giving you the X coordinate and then the Y, you figure out where you are on the X and then where you are on the Y. Okay, X is a horizontal number line, so this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. This is negative, negative one, two, three, four, and five. Going up is positive, down is negative. So the first one says, name the point with the given coordinates. So over negative three, negative one, two, three, and then down to negative two, one, two. That's C. Okay, number two, negative one, positive two is D. And then over two, okay, and then on our y-axis, we didn't change at all, it was zero, so that's K. Then, to make sure you can see it all, the next section, letter A, so here's A. So on my x-axis, I'm at one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And on my y, I'm at negative one. For G, on my x-axis, I'm at zero, right? I'm not moving over at all, so I'm just here in the middle at zero. And on my y, I'm at negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. And then last is H, which is way over here. So on my X, I'm at one, two, three, four. And on my Y, positive one, two, three, four, five. And that's it. The next section is about quadrants. Okay, the quadrants go one, two, three, four. So these are just like hypothetical points. They're not up here, but it's like identify the quadrant or the axis on which in which each pair lies. So I'm actually gonna draw a separate little one down here so it's easier to see. So one, two, three, and four. So negative two, negative two would be negative, negative, quadrant three. Positive six, negative three, right? Over six, down three, that's gonna be over here in quadrant four. Negative two on the X, positive two on the Y is gonna be in quadrant two, and then three, negative three, down here again in quadrant four. Okay, and if you'd had a point like seven, zero, so you would be going over seven, up zero, that would be sitting on the X axis. Okay, the Y axis would be if it was something like zero, negative two. Okay, so over zero, down negative two, you're sitting on that axis. So Y axis. Okay, and then the next section says find the slope um, of each line. So remember slope, dude, going up the mountain, puff, puff, positive. Down the mountain, nice negative. Zero fun, and then undefined. Okay, and he only moves left to right. So here I can pick any point on the left and go to any point on the right. So I'm just gonna pick this one and I'm going to here. So slope is always rise over run. So in this case, I'm rising one and I'm running one, two, three. Okay, but even if I had picked this point to go over here, rise one, run two, three. So it still would have been one over three. If I had picked this point and this point, I would have gone up two and over six. And that would have been, um, it would reduce down to one over three. The next line, this is a vertical line. It's like slope dude falling off the cliff and when he falls off, he yells undefined. And if you think about it, if we started here and went to here, I'd be going down seven over zero. And anytime you're going, you have zero in the denominator, it's gonna give you undefined or an error. You can't divide by zero. And then on this last one, if I picked like this point here and I'm going to the left, I'm going down five over two, down five over two. Even if I started here and went to this last one, I'd be going down 10 over four, which would simplify to five over two. 